My name is Gerald Vogt. I'm the Group Division Manager for Robotics Worldwide at Stäubli. Um, and my job is, uh, yeah, as the title says, being the, the head of our robotics division, um, where we develop, build, sell, support, and service uh, industrial robots worldwide. How much of your business is robotics? How important it is? And how much is uh, other things? So if you could give me an uh, idea of how it fits into your business. Uh, if I back up a little bit, Stäubli has three divisions. Um, we have the textile business where we started with um, um, a long time ago, uh, especially 125 years this year. That's our anniversary year for the Stäubli Group, 125 years, a company, family owned. Um, then in 1956, we added the uh, connectors division. It was a diversification to, to uh, the textile volatile market at these times. And then we started a robotics division at the third, uh, third leg for, for the company. And this was in the 80s. Uh, in 93, we developed then our own uh, robot, uh, our own designed robot. And uh, the importance of robotics is growing. We are the fastest growing division uh, uh, in the last four or five years of the group. And uh, I appreciate what you say about our brand and our look because um, some years ago, we, we really tried to communicate uh, more Stäubli as a brand with the whole three divisions together, uh, with the new brand refreshness um, about this, like you said, one company that offers not only robots, but also textile machinery, connectors, fluid connectors, electrical connectors, and so on. How did robotics come about uh, to Stäubli? What was the reason, rationale behind developing robots? Exactly, that's what distinguishes ourselves. We're a worldwide company with over 4,500 4, people so we have the size that is necessary for a, for a global player. On the other hand, we're not one of these very big conglomerates um, and that allows us to be uh, much more flexible on, 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 on certain things. And then, um, how did we start with robotics is a good question. Um, we started because we do high-speed rotating mechanical motion. This is what came from the textile industry and where we have a lot of expertise in. And if you look at robot today, the mechanics of it is high-speed rotating motion. So we're also the only company worldwide that builds their own gearboxes. We have a patent on this. Then um, in the textile business came then the controls. The controls came from electrical controls to uh, more uh, computer controls, uh, electromechanics and so on. And that's where we then uh, also uh, started to go in robotics because it is, again, the high-speed mechanical motion linked together with smart, intelligent controls. And this is how we got into robotics. And what are the latest innovations? What have you, tell me about the show uh, that you know about, what are the developments you've brought or the innovations you're introducing or any news that you can summarize for? I think what we um, uh, introduce is, is different uh, robots or different versions for different market segments where we uh, are leader, a leader in, op, you know, in doing OEM customized products, but as well optimize and customize products for certain segments, be it the food industry, be it the clean room industry, and so on. And uh, today here on the show in particular, we show um, trends in the industry, it means we show how you can cooperate with the robot, how you can use more of the safety function that reduce the necessary uh, fences around robots. We show how you can interact with a robot, you can guide a robot, or we show here, uh, to my right, a mobile robot on a mobile platform that is uh, uh, the trend of, or, or today's trend, uh, not only having now flexible um, f uh, production, but this allows also to link your machinery physically and load and unload parts, for instance, in your, in your smart factory. Can you give me an idea of how many of your robots, uh, for your own use, or for the, for the company's use, and how many uh, commercially sold to third-party companies? Give me an idea of uh, your... That's maybe also market. the difference, like you said, some of these uh, companies um, come from conglomerates where they are already a big user of their own robots. Uh, in the case of the company you mentioned, it's often a company that's linked in the automotive, uh, welding, and so on and so on. Um, 
uh, we have not this situation, but we use still a lot of robots in our internal production. We use our robots mainly to load and unload machine tools where we keep a lot of competence in-house, um, where we differentiate ourselves by the process, by the machining process, and therefore we uh, uh, invested quite a lot of robotics in our own uh, production side. So what are the markets that you find uh, your robots uh, doing well in, uh, in terms of selling to, to third party companies? Or? Well, we have traditional markets. It's the automotive supplier business. Um, uh, one of our second or strongest market right after automotive is the medical, life science and cosmetics, where we are actually a market leader. And uh, then over other traditional like plastics uh, is an important market for us. And, Latest uh, growing markets are the, the food, food processing, food handling, pick and high speed pick and place, wash down able robots, and uh, these kind of applications we see now as the biggest growth for us. And uh, in terms of geographical areas, what are the growth areas that you can think of? Well, the growth areas for us are um, China is uh, one of the biggest growing markets for us, but uh, as well North America and traditionally Europe. What has been your experience of Hanover Mess? What do you think of Hanover Mess? I know you, uh, you just got here yesterday, but uh, you've probably been here before, and, and but uh, give me my, it's my first time, so give me a, an idea of what you think of Hanover Mess. But I, I think generally it's it's a, a huge uh, show that shows uh, all kind of different uh, offerings in the industry. So for somebody that uh, wants to spend a few days and see a broad or wide uh, offering of industrial goods, uh, it's, it's, it's the best show for that. There are other shows that are more optimized or, or, or focused around purely automation and robotics. Um, but as for us as a company, it is important uh, this, this show because um, there's a show in the south of Germany that attracts uh, uh, German but also international customers, but a lot of bordering countries as well. Uh, but Hannover Messe for us is important for the worldwide coverage, but also the northern part of Germany and the surrounding countries. So, okay, yeah, it's one it, of our main shows. Okay, um, we are not just a robot manufacturer, but we are much more, and um, also to show the trends that that we have now. Yeah, I actually wanted to ask about that. What do you think are the important trends going forward for robo robotics and automation systems? I, I think it's exciting times because the. The hype of you know Industry 4.0 man robot collaboration. We're coming now to a, a phase I feel that is more realistic. Uh, we have now the technologies. We have now companies that that see what it is, and now we find the first true, real, economically relevant applications. And uh, so this is exciting after the hype curve that we have now a realistic approach to this. And. Uh, I think there's a great future for new applications beside the high speed, high volume, high precision applications where you use traditional robots. It opens now the door for, for other uh, means where you have maybe uh, less fences, more uh, robots working beside or even with uh, a, a person. So this is exciting. A lot of companies are becoming really interested in software, and whereas they were 100% hardware oriented building software, yes. but now they're really quickly developing as a software companies. Uh, do you think, think that kind of thing can happen to Stable? Uh, well, I, I think it is, while it is true that controls, especially software, gets also in robotics more and more um, uh, important. You, you compare it maybe to, uh, to the PC world at the time, the hardware was the most important and then uh, um, software uh, became a second uh, uh, important point. Um, Stäuble is investing and we're uh, developing the software side. On the other hand, I think mechanics will uh, still be the basis to build a good software on top of it. Means that if you don't have a good mechanics, then the software will not help you either. But software is the future because it allows you to make things easier to use and that's, that's the trend in the industry anyway.